All right, YouTube, I got a few things here. This is part of my, I don't know what to call this video, stash, emergency stash, concealed stash for emergencies. In case the shit hits the fan, I have this flashlight here. It's a Nevo. I picked this one up at the gun store and it's the old school ones it's got like a few uh, bulbs in there and it also comes with a laser and a gay ass strobe <laughs> that's not gonna do much the, the cool thing I do like is this front part you could actually actually use it to defend yourself. I mean, it's not a horrible light, but it's just not bright enough. Not at all. It's very dim. I got a uh, extra magazine, hollow points. This one's for uh, one of my semi-autos that. Uh, I have to memorize where I keep these because I only know of one other place where I have another one. And I don't remember how many I have. I think I got two more somewhere. But it's good to memorize. I have a very nice knife bone handle. Uh, it's a Maxim, but it's got a really nice curve to it you can see right here and this thing was like four dollars or it's very inexpensive but it is very sharp and uh, looks like a four inch blade by the way so yeah I like it you know I have it in my other stash now, if you got revolvers, I recommend you get these speed loaders because you are going to need them. These are all hollow point 357 Magnum. And in case you gotta use your revolver and you know, you can load these quick. I'm gonna load this one. You gotta look for some more ammo because the last thing you wanna do is. That would, you know, look around for this at the last second when you really need it. So I'm going to, I don't know why this one's not full. I'm going to fill it up. And last but not least, I got this holster. For my 357 Magnum. And this pretty much fits a 6 inch revolver. Hold on a second. Uh... I'm going to show you another holster I have. This is another holster of mine. I got a toy Beretta. <laughs> I used to have a 92FS, but I sold it. So I just put it here for some good laughs but actually this was my Glock 30 holster <laughs> uh, picked up that thing at a dollar store but check it out this is a nice holster this is like 20 bucks gold gold good rich uh, I think I got this at Amazon for like twenty dollars or so, and it's perfect. Like, just put it on your belt, and you put your Glock. It's for a small Glock, like a Glock thirty, like a subcompact Glock. Uh, like I said, I use this one for my Glock thirty. When I used to have my Glock thirty, I sold it, but uh, it was a really nice gun. I had a ported barrel for that one. 
So I recommend you have, you know, place around your home where you could easily get access to and these kinds of things and uh, you know where it is at all times. So if you hear a bump in the night or there's a Hillary cry babies outside trying to get in your home, you can shoot them in the face for being stupid. Uh, no, I'm just saying, you know, like, if the shit hits the fan, you have to know what everything is. And that's something I'm working on. Like I said, I have a lot of knives and they're all over the place. And mags and stuff here and there. Machetes. But, uh, the bad, sad part is you won't be able to carry all your stuff with you. If you have to leave the home. I wouldn't recommend leaving the home. But. You do have to forage, you know, or go trading. And so, you got to have a lot of cash, a cache, whatever you call it, around where nobody knows. But, uh, yeah, I recommend people do this right now and get ready because life can change in an instant. And uh, just because it hasn't happened doesn't mean it's not going to happen. You know, people think, call us paranoid until shit hits the fan. Like, I remember when I bought a generator. And usually your relatives don't help at all. I bought this generator. And I remember my mother saying, ah, you don't need that. What do you need that for? Nah, 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 you're stupid. You just wasted all this money. The next day, the power went off. It was a hot summer. I said, oh, yeah. So I was able to run my fridge for three days. And I had air conditioning in my house thanks to my generator. Everybody else in this block, most of them, they had, you know, they were suffering with heat. And my next door neighbors said, like, I don't know, six kids in there. And uh, I felt sorry for them, but at the same time, I'm like, well, that's what you get for being stupid. And then one of my neighbors was going to buy one. And she didn't because the power came back on. I mean, what kind of rationality is that? So I said to my father, never lend my stuff without my permission. Because this is my stuff. This is for us only, not for... Everybody in the block. They can buy their own shit. You know? And, uh... The neighbors broke my window. They didn't pay for it. So, people like that, I'd rather not just... Don't socialize with them. Let them suffer. I don't care. Uh, I got my stuff. They don't agree. I use this... Beautiful... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just saying people are stupid like they do everything at the last minute and then that's why everything goes to hell if they will prepare a little bit they'll be better off like right now I'm the only one that's buying food for an emergency nobody else does it I would like to store more water but you know where am I gonna do that so yeah, there you have it. Prepare, prepare, prepare. All right, take care. Bye-bye.